Our partners at Bet Online continue to be your number one source for all your betting needs and sports info. Find all the latest odds, news, and sports developments, including this year's Wimbledon Finals, Major League Baseball, all the latest fighting news, and this season's NFL. Head to the website or use your mobile device to sign up today. Receive your 50% welcome bonus on your first deposit. Just use our promo code BLEAV to get the bonus and get into action. Bet online where the game starts. talk with Alexis Texas and we are back and we have the pleasure of having supervision <sighs> rapper weed connoisseur entrepreneur is on the private talk couch thank you for coming I'm excited to get to know you a little bit better get to know who you really are and like how you became this beautiful human being that you are from a rapper to, you know, you have your own weed line, dispensary. Like, how did you have this such, did you always have this hustle inside of you? Did you always know that you were going to be a rapper? Well, you know, I'll be honest with you. I've been talented my whole life. Uh, and once I just developed those skill sets and I knew I can monetize them and get paid, I started really focusing in and homing in on my style and my skill with rapping. And then, uh, you know, I've always loved pot. I've, I've been a, a connoisseur of marijuana since I was, I don't know, maybe 12. My mom probably think it was like 15, but it was like 12. And then I've been selling selling weed uh, since I was like 13, so. So you've always had your hand in it some way or another. So, you know, Absolutely. you were first testing it out. You right. saw you liked the product. Now you had to know like the business angles of everything. How did you, was it just a natural connection and being, you know, from LA that you got into the, you know, the weed business? I think so. I mean, LA is just a natural uh, weed mecca and I'm the prince. So mm -hmm. I had to inherit the throne of uh, pushing pot and, um, I was taught by some old, you know, some OG players and, and, and gangsters and stuff like that, uh, and OG hustlers, you know what I mean, that really um, told me, you know, that that the cannabis is where it was. This is like in, in the early 90s, you know what I mean? Um, I, I, I sold weed all through, all through school. I actually got kicked out of like three high schools. So have you ever pot. stopped selling weed or from the time you were in high school to the time now that it's legalized and that you're actually, you know, making it a profitable situation? Have you ever, was there ever a stopping moment? Was there ever a stopping moment? Well, I stopped. You tell me the I truth, stopped when I caught, no, no, Miss Alexis, I stopped when I caught the cases. Every time I went to jail, I, I stopped for that moment, okay. you know, and then, uh, and then, uh, when I, when I got the record deal with Capital and I got the bag, that was in like 2000, I stopped for I stopped for maybe, uh, maybe uh, maybe two months, but it turned out I started selling weed to everybody at the label. I was selling weed to the to the VPs, the the marketing uh, uh, administration. You know what I mean? All of them was potheads, so they would come to the studio and buy weed from me. So I, I was an artist, but I was getting the bag out of them just but selling pot. But did they pop. come to you because it was convenient or is it because you had good product and because you knew what you were pushing? Because I there's keep a that difference. fire. I know, I keep that fire. Okay, and I'm, I'm a, a connoisseur myself, so that's what I'm saying. Like, yeah. you're only being called over again and knowing that you're a craft person yourself who's actually with the label, but they're like, hey, I want that weed too. Yeah, no, nah, they knew I had fire. Yet. They knew I had fire. I, I, I was selling, you know, at the time it was like, Kush had just hit the scene and I had that OG fire. You know what I mean? So they would come, they would come in, and we used to call it that Guido. They used to come and get that Guido from me, and I used to have them, you know, have them fucked up and shit like that. And they was already on, you know, other drugs or whatever, but I just was always the green guy. So whenever anybody needed fire, uh, if they was coming to the city or whatever, and this before shops, this is, you know, pre-cannabis shops, um, motherfuckers would hit me up. And, Get at me for the So work. how do you say, how did you go about your marketing at that point? Because that, so at that point, social media wasn't a really big thing. Right. You know, it's most of it's word of mouth. How did you get your name out there and your product? Um, really, the craziest thing is, uh, at the time, I, uh, you had to get a rec, a recommendation, a doctor's recommendation 
to even go to a weed store, right? To even go to a weed shop at that time. I don't know if you remember back then. This is like 02, 03, 04. I wasn't 05. here yet. I was still in Texas being a good girl before I did porn. I didn't start porn until October 2006. Wow. Early 2007. Really? I, I I mean I know you're a legend, but shit, I I, I never knew exactly what. Fun the, facts with Miss Texas. Yeah, yes, ma'am. <laughs> so so um so back then you had to have a doctor's rec, and I actually got the doctor's rec because I used to I had OGs from the porn game, and believe it or not, a lot of people didn't know where to go and get a doctor's rec, but all the porn uh, uh, stars at the time they had to hook up on the doctors that that was doing the wrecks doing so illegal I, shit they'd be like what you want Anything. right well they was doing age <laughs> tests and all that shit because they had to work every every month so they had to get that so they was fucking with all the doctors that was doing the wrecks um before you know wrecks were uh recommendations were even promoted and you know hard at, to get yeah they were super hard to get so i got my recommendation and then i, I really does who was the poor star that hooked you up with that wow the porn star that hooked <laughs> the legend drop here I got a name drop like. <laughs> real shit you know what I mean nah it's it's uh, that's a big card to have you know he, he hooked you up look it, it was their gateway to you know you're an entrepreneur absolutely look ma'am right now hey babe it, it, it was a couple porn stars that was my OGs uh Julian St. Jock the legendary you know he's a he's a uh AVN Hall of Famer uh Mr. Byron Long you know, okay. another legendary cat. These cats, like, damn near, you know, schooled me and raised me. Uh, Mr. Carlton Banks. You know, these was legendary cats back in the early 2000s that was popping. And um, and they got me to wreck. And then um, I, I had a, a business degree, uh, a business administration uh, degree. So what I did was... I would always study the game and I was just leaving Capitol Records in the hip hop industry. And I was really just studying how the Wii game was working and stuff like that. And every store I would go to, they would always show me super love, right? And I thought it was because I was a local rapper, you know, local little celebrity popping or whatever. But then when I uh, got into really studying the bylaws of SB 420, Compassion Act, um, uh, and that's uh, Senate Bill 420, the Compassion Act, and, and uh, Prop 215. And, it, and it, the, the whole bylaws was saying that the whole uh, medical marijuana industry was set up for cats like myself who were, you know, visually impaired or whatever your uh, disabled, uh, disability was. Mm -hmm. So once I learned that, I started going to these shops and shit, and, and, uh, and I was saying that they needed products. And uh, I knew my mom, she was a chef, and I was already interested in making products, so I started making different fucking uh, cannabis products. I started making bubble gum first, and then I got to okay. making weed sodas and lollipops, and I started seeing that every shop I would go to, um, if I became a member of the shop, then they had to fuck with me. They had to buy my products or at least give me a try. And we had fire products, so I started there. Nice. I like yeah. that. I feel like it's definitely, you know, you it's methodically put out of knowing like, you know, what people wanted for using sure. the resources that you had for sure. and then making facilitating it to make it a business. To it was like an hustle. ongoing thing for sure. And but that's what's great and unique about it is because you it's now legal. And then this is how the craziest shit was, Alexis. It was like, all right, social media wasn't popping yet. But what was popping is blogs and shit like that. And then, like, at the time, everybody had, like, MySpace, right? And and, um, and so every shop I would go to, unbeknownst what was, to What me, was your MySpace song? Um, yeah. <laughs> you I, know you had it. Yeah, I don't even fucking remember. It was so long ago. <laughs> All right, that was, we'll that was like 90,000 blunts ago. <laughs> and, 90, and a gang of shrooms. Blunts, okay, 90, okay. Maybe 90,000. The shrooms, shrooms should help so. you bring back what the, what it is. Nah, you know, I'm going to tell you something. I was so fucking high off some weed and shrooms the other night. I was trying to, I, I, like, I was having a conversation with God. Like, and I was asking him. What did like, he tell you? Well, I was asking him a question. I was like, God, you're such a like an ultimate artist. Like, how did you invent pussy? Like, that's that's like the the ultimate invention. I mean, I believe his his ultimate, 
you know, gift to this world is, is, is the woman herself. You know what I mean? Women is God's greatest gift he's made. But it's like, I was so high, I was wondering how did he invent so, something so good as, as, as pussy? You know what I mean? And, and I was- And what did he tell you back? He told me it, it took a lot of, a lot of, <laughs> And then they said, hey, do you want to do Alexis Texas's podcast? Hey, how about that? <laughs> <laughs> you see hey, how the worlds collide. For real. He, t- he told me it took a lot of thought and focus. And, and 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 preciseness and delicateness and i said hmm i get it so how do you take that knowledge and and activate it into your real life um well i just apply hustle every day you know a lot of people over the last 20 years people have almost pariahed the word hustler like that's a bad word and it's like I respect people like Larry Flint. You ever heard of Larry Flint? Absolutely. Larry Flint. If I is, didn't hear is, of Larry Flint now, come on now. Okay, on. I don't want to disrespect Texas you. Some respect. I don't want to put some insult. respect on some of my name. I will. Know? I'll put some respect I was on, on you name. know, I was on a Hustler magazine. I was in oh. you know, several. Talk that shit. Mm-hmm. Talk That's that right. shit. Right. I mean, send a copy over. You know, I got, <laughs> I got, uh, you know, I me. Mean? I got allies and, and and associates that would love to see some of your earlier, you know, classic I'm sure stuff. They have. Ask about me. They know. Oh, what did you, you tell me earlier? My name got street cred. Yeah, your name I, got I know, uh, that's major true. street cred. I, know. I told you, <laughs> they respect you in the hood. The cash was telling me like, man, make sure you give her love from me and and and, and all kind of shit. And I was like, you know, I'll let her know. Everyone it's all loves love. a big booty. It's all know? love. Everything's bigger in Texas, baby. You know, you gotta show Miss Texas love. I need to get to Texas sometime. I, you know what I mean? I like I like uh, I like everything in Texas. I, I've been to Texas, Houston, Dallas. Austin, you know, being I like the whole vibe. Do you have a vibe. favorite? Say it again. Do you have a favorite? Um, not really. I, I like the whole state, the whole vibe. I actually, crazy as shit, I kind of like San Antonio. I like the little Spanish vibe, and you know, it was it was real nice. So San Antonio treated me real good. The Riverwalk. Shout out San Antonio. Yeah, the Riverwalk. San Antonio. I actually got arrested on that Riverwalk smoking weed. I didn't, you know, what I mean, I didn't see them coming. Swear to God. <laughs> I mean, yeah, Texas is no joke about weed. No they, joke. They I've been to jail. They don't really like, like, I didn't really smoke weed until I came out to California. Is that right? Yeah. I mean, because, I mean, I had smoked some, but it was like dirt. Like, well, y'all was, had garbage. You know what I mean? I'm saying? It was like, it was like smoking hookah. So right. it was like, and I didn't even smoke hookah then and because it was still, their hookah in Texas is not, it's like not the business. I've been arrested. Um, Three times in Texas. All because it's, of weed? Yeah, all, all weed charges. Yeah, San Antonio, I got arrested on a river walk smoking. Um, uh, I got arrested in craziest shit. I got arrested by this motherfucking state trooper in Texas that ended up being a fucking, uh, he ended up being like a fucking murderer and shit. Like he had murdered a lot of people and raped a lot of fucking people. He was like a, a serial killer. His name was Ortiz and the motherfucker arrested. And he was a cop? He was a cop. He was a LA, uh, uh, a Texas fucking state trooper. And he knocked me, he knocked me and my brothers. We were on our way to New Orleans. And I had like, I had like a half a pound just for smoke. You know, I was going down to, I think it was Mardi Gras or something, me and my brothers and shit. And uh, yeah, he knocked us in um, in Sonora, Texas, Sonora County, Texas, and they brought us to this little fucking jail, and they brought a mas- magistrate out, and uh, and uh, I had to bail out, and it was like, like I don't know, like twenty six thousand to bail us out. It was crazy numbers, and uh, fought the case, yeah. And then I, I was watching. You know, not, I wasn't How really watching. How long after what did you see that he was like a serial It was killer. like 10 years later. It was just like 10, 10 years, years Yeah, it was like, like 10 hey, years later. Cop? They found this motherfucker out. He had been, he had been robbing motherfuckers like, uh, on, on, you know, uh, you know, drug dealers and shit like that and, and uh, raping prostitutes and all kind of shit. His name was Ortiz. Look it up. It was did crazy. You never get, did you ever get at that time, like, get a weird feeling about him? And, like, in that sense of, like, to be like, oh, like, I could see that. Like, you know, being... yeah, I got a weird sense about the motherfucker. Like, he was just way weird because what, what, what the craziest shit is, I was telling him it was my weed, right? I had, like, 
my two brothers and my uh my my handler at the time my security at the time with me and uh i'm telling him it's my weed just because i can't see he's like nah it's all y'all weed so he takes us all the jail like it's hey, all four of us and charge us with the same fucking bag of weed right mm. and uh and charge us with some crazy like uh you know, conspiracy to traffic weed and all kind of shit. And it's like, I was telling him, no, nah, it's my personal weed. I'm blind. You know what I mean? I got my California recommendation away. They wasn't having that. It was like zero tolerance. Threw us in the clink. And uh, yeah, I had to bail us, bail us out. And it was like, like 6,000, 7,000 a piece to bail us out and fight the case. And it was real crazy. And, um, and then the third time I got arrested, in fucking uh, Texas, I got arrested in um, in um, in hold, El Paso. Don't hold Texas against me. You know what I mean, I did not arrest you. No, no, Just you didn't. Ar- you you didn't. You didn't arrest. You didn't arrest I'm me. I'm the good part of Texas, baby. I'm the good part of Texas. <laughs> hey, if I got arrested <laughs> by you, it'd probably be my pleasure. You know what I mean? So you know. You'd be what like, mean? wait, I recognize that voice. Hold on, wait a minute. Is this the movie that they were talking about? Well, unless that voice was a siren, because you got a platinum moan, mommy. Exactly. You got the platinum that's my moan. siren. That's, that's all I need. Siren. That's all I need. <laughs> you know. You I heard that little Wayne <laughs> song, which was 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 he talking about you on there? I mean, possibly. Uh, you never know. You never right, know with an sure. ass like mine. You never know. Well, li- as long as you, about you, you know, you never know. <laughs> I could dig it as long as you wasn't on no Ortiz type of shit. But that motherfucker, yeah, definitely he was not a serial, serial killer. I'm not on that. You know, I'm more of like you know suffocating people with my ass. You know, in a sexual way, more wow. like you know playful, fun. You know, I want to see how long you can go and like see if you can tap out. Where so you're would you tap say you're a with. sexual murderer? Um, never murdered anybody. You know, I'm a sexual athlete, but I'm athlete. not a sexual wow. murderer. I um definitely know how to do a thing or two. Well, you know what? I I Ask have the streets. They know about me. Okay, <laughs> I, I can respect that. I'll check with them. You know, I'm always there. But the craziest thing is, I've always I've always seen you know sex as a sport because facts. If, me too. That's yeah, why I made a profession out of it. And I can respect. I, I can respect. You know, the whole uh, uh, porn profession, uh, because like I said, I was raised by some real porn G's that really, you know, made, made a living and put their kids through school, you know, off, 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 off of, uh, being porn professionals and, and real, you know, teachers of, of, of how to please the opposite anatomy, because I learned a lot of shit off of, uh, for sure. It's a science. I feel like not only that, you know, I make the joke of sexual athlete, but it's the truth. You know, a lot of things I feel like people maybe it's over glorified to a point, but you everybody individually takes what you want from it in certain situations, because I feel like it's all communication. It's all about needs and wants and what, like what those desires are. So if you are open enough of a partner to give those things and be open to learning those things, I think it goes a lot further. And that's why I feel like porn is very educational for me. I started when I was 21. I was in the, I've been in the business for like 15 years, right? And I've learned so much about myself. I was always a sexual like person, right? And exp- exp- in touch with and, yourself. And, and just not only in touch with myself, but I was just it was my, my body and like my sexuality was very much an art to me. So it was how right. I expressed myself, and I had very much more uh, control of it. Right. So for me, porn as much as it was very taboo and not even known that anybody I've never known a porn star kind of like fell into my lap right but it was almost more natural to me because it was just I was having fun and I was I always said like young dumb and full of cum but I really learned a, a lot and I'm very grateful for the business for you know kind of finding a, a craft and you know sex being a great thing in the world that makes pussy makes the world go around it clearly does. when you were talking to Jesus <laughs> but when I get it when I get in it it stops it, it, you know what I mean? For because, you or her? How do you know? And who's been oh, being told? Oh, I, I stir it up. I, I make it stop. You know what I mean? I, I what put, are you stirring up? Uh, what am I stirring up? All that, all, all of her loins. <laughs> you know what I mean? What I believe is, see, one thing I, I, one thing I love about sex, not being able to see, I can really feel every aspect of it, like every aspect of her loins, like uh, you know that G spot. You know, see, I, so I you can know feel, when somebody's faking it. Well, I've never experienced her faking it because maybe you don't I'm, know that she. No, faked no, it. I, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going to apply so much, so much, so much pipe in 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 such a gentle and precise way. I'm gonna tap all up Your in. Choice of words are very eloquent. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Well, I try to do it. You're a wordsman. Well, I try to 
I try to say what I do and do what I say. I mean, I'm telling you what my dick does. I'm not telling you what I'm just saying. I'm saying it's three levels of a pussy. You know what I mean? What are the it's, three levels? It, Please explain the private talk. Well, it's the shallow level, okay. right? And, and sometimes what do you, you know, obtain in the shallow level? What what are you like seeking in the shallow level? In the shallow level, in the, in, in the level? shadow level, you just you just you just you just open and you know what I mean. You're getting in tune with the. You're with, seeing with, what she really likes. Absolutely, you're okay. seeing what she really likes. You're poking you're, around. You're, you're seeing, poking you know, around. You, know, you, you know what I mean. Into. You're seeing with that. You you're seeing how to float that boat and navigate that boat okay. through that canal that God built for you. Okay. You know what I mean. It's curves with that, Preach and you got to know how to. Tell you got to know how to work that. You know, work that work that love muscle. You All know right. what I mean. So now we've navigated the love muscle. So absolutely. Level two. So what, level what are we two. feeling in level two? So we're level going two. down the path. So down the canal. So we're going to level two. Yeah. So level two. Now you now you're approaching. The, the squeeze. Like I'm on the Titanic, but different. I feel like I don't even know. So, I mean, as it, it, it are gets deep. Are we going to sink this ship? Or are we going to go afloat? Who are we going to now? Are we going to know? Are we going to finish this? Well, in the talk? wise words of Denzel Washington from Training Day, oh, shit, shit gets deep. No oh, shit. Shit gets deep. How deep you want to go? Oh, I mean, to the third <laughs> level. Now, now, see, me being Creole, you know what I mean? I'm a Creole man, now you, right? This is where the mixing up part comes around. Yeah, yeah, it's, is, it's, the, it's is, that mixing I'm up. I'm from Texas. I gumbo. know how this shit works. Well, you know what the fuck is in gumbo. It's, it takes some stirring. You got to stir it with the, with the, with the, you know what I mean? You got to stir it with the stir. The spicy pot got to be stirred. It got to be yeah. stirred up. You feel me? So, you know what I mean? That's when you get to stirring. You how know what I mean? How do you get to the bottom, and, and though, you, when you're it, stirring really deep? That's that that's, third level. That's that bottom. We're at the third level, I thought. It, it, we're well, scraping to the bottom of the barrel at third level. Oh, we. Oh, we. <laughs> and, and, and if you really piping, you ain't got to be trying to fold her up or nothing. You should be able to hit that third level with focus, tenacity, vigor, and pure love and passion. You know what I mean? I love the, the octave change. How yeah. long does it take to get for time wise to the third level? Is third there, level, third level for me. What gear? I, what gear are we shifting into? That well, well here, here's the thing. The, the the first level, you should always spend about a good ten to twelve minutes on that first level. You know okay. what I mean? Let her get hers. That second level, now you in that ass. I mean, you deep. Literally you talking or to figuratively. Her. Uh, literally always I, I, I don't know so you're in the ass before the pussy no 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 uh, no no I'm sorry let me see literally means you're literally in the asshole not like you know you know I'm, I'm talking to a porn star so I have to watch my language you're such a pro I'm, I'm sorry you know this, this only helps your dirty talk yeah I don't I don't mean in the ass I mean deep in that pussy but you so okay. deep in that pussy she can't tell one 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 hole from the other oh, if you really tell. in that ass she can if, tell she can tell I mean if you bust her we can her, always tell yeah but if you if you if you piping I mean I, I'll be honest with you and, and you got to be honest with the public Right, I'm a lot of motherfuckers it. ain't packing. A lot of motherfuckers ain't ah. really got no wood. They 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 plan. So when they get in the pussy, they just plan. And most most cats that can see the one thing I got over cats that can see, they looking at the pussy. They looking at the face <laughs> and all the facial expressions you make it. But Me, I'm just it focused. Great. I'm just focused on 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 blowing your back out. You know what I mean? That's my focus. <laughs> I'm trying to get to, you know, being level G spot. You know, and it takes some digging. You know, I believe it in... It takes some digging. Yes, I believe in the I John Henry it. theory. You take Wait. a hammer and you keep knocking at it. <laughs> Who taught you this? A, a few young ladies throughout <laughs> my past. And they told me, keep knocking. So, you know what I mean? I keep knocking and shit keep rocking. And then... Uh, so you would say consider yourself a coxman. Absolutely. I, you know, listen, I have, I have, I have big penis problems. You have big penis I have problems? Bi I have big penis problems. I mean. What does that even mean? That means I can't fit on t skinny jeans. They, they're terrible. Terrible. Sue every designer that made skinny have jeans. Have you tried they to put them on? Several times. And, and it's just the dick part that doesn't fit. Well, well. Here's the thing. I'm good. I'm good with it. But you, when I go, when I go places, it's like, you know, what I mean, women start acting funny and shit. And but wouldn't you want to like put that right on the table figuratively? If that, you know, what I'm not. Packing, I'm not. I'm, packing, you know, you know? I, I, I'm not like a dick model or nothing. So it's like I'm not trying to show a dick print. But you know, what I mean, I, I guess that's. 
So you yeah. like wearing tight clothes to, sh- to Never. advertise Never. for yourself? I, I like I like just Fitted wearing clothes. fly shit. I'm just a fly motherfucker. So I just like wearing fly shit and, and you know what I mean? Whatever the so modern the day just flyness is. So flock to the fly shit and they just know you're a coxman. Well, well, I'm a pot of honey and, and bitches are flies. <laughs> so you know what happens. What? Yeah, I'm a pot of honey. And, and bitches, bitches are flies. flies. Mm. You know what I mean? I'm I mean, not a bitch. I'm a lady, so I'm not a fly. So I don't know. But how I, didn't, really I, didn't, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't refer to you. I didn't refer to you. I didn't say you, you did. Be, I was just saying the obvious. Oh no, myself. you're 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 such you're such the lady. But <laughs> you know what I mean? Let me rephrase that. I could be a bitch that. though too. Don't lie. I mean, it's, you can keep a G. Not yeah. today, but I could be. Nah, I mean, you know, I, I, I'm sure every woman has a little bitch no, in them. But well, but at I the think same, everyone, not I, just every woman. I Say think it again? That I, I think everyone, not just every woman. Everyone has a little bit of bitch in them. Oh, I I I I guess God didn't make me God didn't <laughs> make me uh, 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 normal or perfect because I was minus that in my package. I'm you know what I mean. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I'm, you know. It didn't hit your coverage. Yeah. Was taken out. God didn't I just put feel that like in my package. Can, I think everyone can always be good and bad. So, I mean, like, that's the bitchy side of things. So, it's like when you don't like something, why when women say, like, the word bitchy is because we're complaining, we're being bitchy about something or whatever. Or well, when I'm bad, I'm a beast. When I'm bad, I'm a fucking beast. When I'm bad, I'm a beast. You know what I mean? I, you know, I'm more like a, you know what I mean? You know, a bitch is like a female dog, you know, like a, like a shih tzu, like a, like a poodle. But you know I I don't I mean, think that that, as in a relative derogatory term to a female, should right. is, is makes the it, same it, context either. It's men that's bitches when too. I'm, when I'm the same, that's exactly what I it's said. It's men I said. that's a lot of bitches. But that's but what I'm saying, saying. Because when I'm mad and I'm angry, I could be a beast too. But some would reference it as a bitch. But I'm that's not. True. But I can be. But that's exactly you prove my point. Is just said mom, some men can be. Yeah, yeah. Not I mean, but whatever, you know, but, what I mean, me personally, I, I, you know, what I mean, if I'm on some beast shit, I really. You know, grab a motherfucker and, 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 and you know what I mean? Me too. And headlock him, you know what I mean? And let him Me. know like, like, I just like, do it with my ass. I sit on them and suffocate them until I win. Deep. And most times I... I, <laughs> I think that's trouble. Now you say you're not a murderer, <laughs> but you got some ass. So hey. I, I'd say if you sit... Hey. On they've the wrong never, motherfucker, the wrong They've never not way. woke up. You know, it may have taken a little bit, but you know, they... After a couple of taps. Did you know, they come? <laughs> did they come? That's their problem. I don't know. I did. <laughs> I'm a beast. Like I told you, if I I'm going to get mine, that. I'm going to get mine. I, re- I, I respect it. You know, the, the craziest thing, my, 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 my girlfriend, she tells me, she said, um, you know, like, I'm going to get mine. You got to get yours. Because me personally, I like, you know, I used to be into like, you know, fucking to come. You know what I mean? Get that orgasm. Like right no, off the bat, or no, just no, like in just the- into. That's what all young motherfuckers is into. All men, we into. We when we in our like, you know, high school years, young college years, you know, young twenties, we into fucking to come. Like you know, we ain't even giving a fuck about you. So you it's don't about care about getting, making somebody come. You just no, say, it's no, a selfish no. Fuck. It's all about us coming. It's like I'm trying to, and I'm trying to get to it as fast as possible. We, you don't learn to really enjoy the pussy until you're well in your 30s. Like, you so know what I mean? So you didn't really like take time to make a pussy come until your 30s? Uh, me personally, I, I'm a special rare case. I, I've been making bitches come since <laughs> I was happened? 12. What had happened was, Ms. Yeah, Texas, I'm a, I'm a special I've been always case. making bitches come. Don't get it twisted. But, but I, <laughs> I learned, I learned, I learned how- Are they gonna spin the block about you? Say it again? Are they gonna spin the block about you? Um, yeah, I'm, I'm a wanted <laughs> nigga. You know what I mean? I'm one motherfucker. You know, I'm a bad dude. You know what I mean? They, they spinning the block right now. You know I what like I mean? It. I like it. Keep yeah. Going. Keep they going. spinning. They spinning. <laughs> yeah, here I go. You know what I mean? No mystical. Here I go. I'm right here. So, you know, bottom line is, um, you know, I've always been on some shit where, 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 like, just when it comes to, like, sex, you know what I mean? Like, Enjoy the moment and enjoy it. And and and, and you coming uh, or me coming is not the primary focus. It's 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 my partner. It's 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 making her feel. You know what I mean? How many uh, times are you coming in a session? 
Are you like in a session? Are you coming like? Can you come back to back? Are you coming and you need like a thirty minute downtime, hour downtime? You just one and done. Are you holding back because you can only do? I like to. I like to do. I like. I I like. I'm a two to three guy. You know what I mean? I mean two to three guy and how and what quantity of time? About an hour and a half. Like you know what I mean? Okay, that's excessive. Maybe 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 if I'm if I'm like. You know, faded off some Hennessy or some. Or then, then I got you know Hennessy is actually really dick hardener. I don't know if they mm, put that on Viagra the bottle. In it. it should be a disclaimer. Hennessy is dick hardener. So if I'm off some dick hardener, you hear that man out there in private talk. Listen to him. Hey, hey, I'm giving them. I'm giving them game. You want to wear? You want to wear some pussy out? <laughs> I mean, you're on some line on knocking the lining out of some shit, and she's all with the business. And the session can last long Did you and you say slow stroke. Knocking the lion out of something. I mean, you know. Is that what you said? Uh, yes. What does that mean? <laughs> I mean, p- push it to the limit, pushing it. I'm pushing it. You know, you gotta push it to the limit. You know what <gasps> I mean? Like, but that means knocking like, the lion out of it. Uh, well, doesn't that make is, the lion? The lion is always you, inside of you, right? Well, you know, yes. I'm, I'm, I'm looking. I'm looking from the aspect of being deep inside. But my whole thing is, my whole thing is, it's always a push and pull type of thing. And at some point, something's got to give and it will be her and not me. She's going to give. I'm going Have to Have you keep... ever came too quickly? Yes, yes. How, but what was the length of time, the duration? I mean, you know, usually, usually you that's one some... minute, 30 seconds, pull it out and write in her face. Nah, 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 like never that. that. Even like, prematurely. Never that. Like, no, I'm not a lame motherfucker. That's but your like whole life, that's a plethora of time. Like, not everyone knows it was a cop. I'm going gonna, I'm right gonna to be honest with you. I'm going to be honest but with you. But are you, though? I feel like you're putting no, a I'm, on I'm, it. I'm, no, no, I'm, I'm truly honest. But, uh, you know. Uh, I you heard know, the octave change. I'm not, truly now we're being honest. Nah, nah. What I'm trying to say is, like, from, like, five, like, uh, something quick for me is like five minutes, six minutes, but okay. that's like, that's like, that's like on some morning, like, you know, like a quickie or no something one's about to jump you, in the okay? shower. Speak freely here at private. <laughs> Nobody's judging you in your five. I, I six believe minutes, I'm like. being. I believe I'm being judged. I'm on with a porn legend. I mean, but that doesn't I gotta, mean I gotta, judged. I got I got to lay it out for you the right way. You know, to say yeah. Your I've choice had some- of words. You're laying it out. I like that. But what I'm saying to you is. It's not like a whose dick is bigger, no pun intended. I don't have one, Avi. But it's more of the fact of like, it's it is what a, it, your hold on, sexual hold on. It thing. is about whose dick is bigger, and mine is, goddammit. My dick I is mean, bigger. Honestly, you know what I mean? um, my mystical dick that I don't have that's fantasy land is definitely bigger than uh, yours. That, it would that, wrap that, you up and fucking swallow you whole. But that's just because... <laughs> Because I'm a Gemini, I'm Puerto Rican. You know, I got, I got a lot of I'm things. a Cancer Gemini cusp. I'm a Cancer. When's, when's your birthday? May 25th. May 20, oh, you're an early Gemini. I'm that thing, you know? I'm, you like, I'm that like queen. Taurus Gemini. you kind of crazy. Don't respect on my name. First of all, I okay, am I'm crazy. Sorry. I have parts of it, but I am a Gemini. Are you like, do you have multiple personalities? And, and, no. and is Texas different from... Alexis and first of all no I mean well Alexis Texas mm-hmm. is my professional name yes ma'am. so therefore who my professional side is and who I am at home in my personal life is yes. completely different yes I can respect there that. are you know parallels in certain levels and aspects um, there are certain things that work wise I take to higher depths and right. certain things in my personal life I you know will with certain partners and maybe I won't um, so it's you know there's certain obviously parallels because it is still a persona of who but, I am, um, but I also think that you know everybody's not always who their persona is for work. Right, right. But what, the reason why I was asking that is because right, I, I know you said you grew up in Texas, and I'm like the Alexis that's 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 in Hollywood is not the same Alexis that's in Texas. You get you when you go back home. I'm sure you got you. You got a whole nother vibe. You get the accent and shit maybe a little bit or something. Well, both my parents are from New York and the Bronx, and so I'm a military brat, so therefore I never really had, like, a Texas accent. Like, I'm born in Panama. I was raised in Texas. Wow. Direct Texas is the only thing I've ever really, like, known. Right, right. From, like, That's where you spent the most time. Five to 21. Um, But I I, I don't know how to explain it. What part of Texas are you from? 
Um, I'm the San Antonio area, outside San Antonio. Oh, yeah, okay, okay. So you got that little Latin vibe going too. Well, I, I don't necessarily Naturally, Latin. It's, it's I mean, I'm Puerto Rican, yes. Right, but, right. But so where in, I'm from is like very not that. It's very like French white. Like, you know, there's not a lot of diversity. Right. And it was like 2,200 people, two stop sign. I mean, two wow. stop signs, two stop lights. Like, little, little ass town. Very little. I think that that's what, again, I no wonder why, why the pot was garbage. <laughs> that's exactly why I didn't try it until I was wanting the, the better stuff. But I think that that's what's kind of like made me still aware because my parents were very more edgy than where we were from. Right. And, you know, a different like thing. So it was like I knew there was more, but I just like also kept the wholesomeness of like there was not a lot of trouble to get into where right. I was. Where was that? Until, you know, you get older and then you're like, there's a whole new world out here. Like, world. This is not for me. Let's go. Let's go. That's crazy. So you had to go explore some shit. Well, I was in college, and that's kind of like how um, a company called Shane's World kind of, they were doing a line called College Amateur Tour, which I was one of the prod prodigies of okay. those movies. Okay, And yeah, it kind of just happened. And at well, that point, I never thought that I'd ever do porn. I never watched porn. I never did anything like that. Um, but I liked sex, and right. I was really in tune. Like I said before, it was about, like, it was my art. It was how I expressed myself, and I, if I had control, then I was... It, in control and I was happy about it right right exactly um, that was kind of like your passion right yeah and then I kind of fell into that and then some, uh, an opportunity came and they were like well a company called Bang Bros wants to shoot you and they flew me out to Miami and I s moved to LA a week later and then I've wow. been here ever since my my motto was go big or go home and Miss Texas has never gone home I'm still here playing in the you big made, leagues you made LA your home I did. I, I did. mean, I respect that wholeheartedly because, you know, a lot of people can't come to this town. They can't come to the town and, and really, and really, you know, what I mean, make make it a home. You know, they usually, you know, get burnt out, get flipped out, or whatever, For and sure. be checking out. You know, in a matter of you know, a year, two years, or whatever. So to know that you came out here, you know, what I mean, you know, with the gift God gave you, and 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 really monetize the whole situation. I respect your hustle. Love, and, appreciate it. And I the think passion that's for exactly what it is. It's one of those things like when you hustle, you just know you want to hustle and whatever yes, it is. If you're betting on yourself, you bet on yourself, and you know you're never gonna lose if you bet on yourself because you know that you're gonna you're a winner. So I yep. had no intentions or knowing what LA brought to me, but the hard work and it was never always easy, but right. it led me to the path of where I'm at today, and I'm very grateful and happy in the you know the, the the lengths that i have gone to Absolutely. be where i'm am today to be it's in the platforms that shoot. i have for sure and to meet people like you and talk about you know your hustle and all you know and your drive and things like that i feel like a lot of people sometimes you know count themselves out where it's like you just drove, drove you drove you even more yeah 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 i mean you know really um the passion the passion of the hustle for me is because you know i didn't have a, a real blueprint on you know, I lost my sight at like, like fully uh, like nine years old, right? So um, I didn't really have a blueprint on, on, on how to like, how to be successful, but I wanted to be successful. And I'm like, I didn't want to live a, a, a poverty stricken life where, you know what I mean? I couldn't, you know, have all the shit that, you know what I mean? That I saw before, uh, you know, saw on TV and saw, just in the world before I lost my sight. So once I lost my sight, I I, I really honed in on on uh, the rap talent and shit like that. And then you know, just always was that that uh, opportunist and and kept my ears open and my my you know what I mean my nose clean and, and and stayed in the streets and uh and and took advantage of every opportunity that came my way. You know. That's amazing. I yeah, love that. absolutely. If you could change jobs, would you? And what would you do instead? change jobs uh i think uh i think i'll be a dj a dj mm -hmm. what kind of music would you be on your set you know I'm, and what would be your dj name i, I think house I, I i would i would start out being a hip-hop dj but but i like the techno you know that that uh you know I me mean? EDM crowd you want, and like shit the molly like crowd of people all yeah, wigged yeah. out like just dancing like zombies to the night end well, I like doing I like doing <laughs> EDM music. Like I I I've been experimenting with it, so y'all gonna hear some EDM shit from me real soon. 
but I really like doing that shit, that that repetitious shit like that. And um, it's pretty dope to write. And when you fucked up, it takes you. I can see why they they're dancing like zombies because it like the how you in the zone. The beat takes you. But that's like what me, what's so great about music. You know, right. it's like it's a, it doesn't matter if it's a beat, a song, the like lyrics or whatever. Like right, some right. way it's gonna touch you in some ways. Well, you know, I was just having a conversation with one of my player partners, and I was telling him that that uh, rhythm is life. Like, all right, like, we all on the same beat. Like, all of our hearts are beating. Boom, 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 boom. That's one, two. That's the natural beat. So we're all on the same beat, right? So when a motherfucker heart stop, they're off beat. And off beat means you're dead. Now you need a fucking a fibrillator. You're resuscitated. Uh, yeah, exactly. Smack and, my and booty boom. in your face. And, exactly. <laughs> and that shit gets you back on beat. Now you're, you know what I mean? Now you back with one, two. You know what I mean? So I was like, everybody's, again. everybody in the world is on the same fucking beat. So it's like, it, it's no wonder why, you know what I mean? You could get 50,000, 50 million motherfuckers to like one song. Because in actuality, for one short second, we're all on the same beat because it's it's nobody's heart that's beating three times and shit or four times. Everybody's shit is going like this. So if all of our shit is going like this, whether you're white, black, or whatever the fuck you are, everybody's shit is doing this. We're all on the same beat. We're all in the rhythm of life. I mean, maybe I get too high, but I think of shit like that. But I mean, I think that that's a great way to think and a great mindset to have because you're not wrong. It is the truth. I mean, it's the same. You know, we are all the same. We're all on the same path. Absolutely. We're on the same, you know, they're all the same beat. We're all on the same beat, like, like for real. So, you know what I mean? Like to move as one, like, you know what I mean? It's like that's, you know what I mean? That's the beauty of, of, uh, you know, whatever team sports, sex, whatever you wanted. It when, when two people can come together. And and, and 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 work in unison to to get a to accomplish our overall goal. You know what I mean? And sex is 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 both partners having a ultimate orgasm. And 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 you know, in 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 football is scoring a touchdown, and it takes a, a you know a, a you know a An synergy. Orgasm is a touchdown, you know, in sex. Absolutely. When is the last time you had sex? Well, so I have sex. Today. Every day it's like walking or fucking eating. If you so, ain't. did you have sex today, um, or is it like a nighttime thing? Is there a certain type of day that you know? No, no, yesterday day? for me, but um, you know, I, I'm I'm really a night guy. You know, I, I, I hustle, but you know, it could be any time of the day. You know, what I mean, as long as the the vibe is right and the mood is right, and and uh, as long as the money is out the way, if we didn't took care of the business, we could fuck all day. You know, what <laughs> I mean, that that's that's how I. I you know how I get down with my partner. You know what I'm saying? If 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 we didn't take care of the business, like you know, and that's out the way, the bills is paid. Oh, you know what I mean? Like we can fuck till the cops come knock. <laughs> you know what I mean? Is Straight there up. something in your life that you regret saying no to? Something in my life that I regret saying no to. Yeah, uh, Shaquille O'Neal asked to buy a song from me. Um, indirectly it was like his 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 label the dude who was running his label at the time um right before i got signed to capital records this is like in in 2000 and um at the time i was like it was a dope song and you know i was proud of writing it and i knew i was about to get my my record deal and i was on some young young dumb shit not realizing this motherfucker just came to LA. He, he just got signed by the Lakers, and he was coming out with his album, and uh, and his album was going, you know, blow out the frame and go like triple platinum. And he, you know, he wanted my song. They offered me, you know, a couple hundred uh, for the record, and um, and I turned them down. And that was probably one of my uh, biggest regrets. In Why do you think you turned it down? Because you wanted to keep it for yourself. I wanted to keep it for myself. Somehow in my in my in my in my young brain at the time I was thinking like I couldn't write another song or something to get to get to get the deal that was already going to be for me. But you know, in hindsight, I could have got the re- record deal and I could have got a, a hell of a big ass publishing deal having a song on Shaq's album 
uh, with a bunch of, you know, big name artists and, you know, and shit like that. He had Biggie on that album and a bunch of other motherfuckers. And, and uh, yeah, I played myself, you know, man. And and I still would have, and I would have got the, the couple hundred bands, like free and clear cash. When I got signed to the label, they wanted to recoup. Any monies they gave me, they was trying to recoup. Not all of the money, because when I walked to the label, I'm a hustler, I had already produced my whole album. So I sold them the album. They had to do like a, a what, what's called a master purchase deal. So when I walked in the label, they had to give me 250, even before we discussed the rest of the deal, just because I walked in with 12 masters. I walked in with a whole album and they had to chip me off for that. And then we could discuss the rest of the deal. Do you so, regret signing with the label? I regret signing with that label particularly because they wasn't versed in no knock on Capitol Records, but they really wasn't versed in urban music and they really didn't get the fact that I was a, you know what I mean? I was a street cat that just so happened to be uh, sightless or blind or whatever you want to call it. Um, you know, I was a hood nigga and they didn't understand that. They thought that, you know, they got some, you know what I mean, some gimmick, you know, corn box, corn muffin type of motherfucker that, you know what I mean, that was going to, you know what I mean, uh, be on some like, you know, uh, you know, jump behind a piano, you know, or, or whatever the case. I don't know what the you. fuck they yeah. thought. But, you know what I mean, I was like a street hustling, you know what I mean, gangster that was just so happened to not be able to see from the streets that, that, that can write good songs and, and spit them bars. And, uh, and, you know, I was easy on the eye, so, you know what I mean? It, you know, I had a lot of shit working for me. Can you spit some bars from Miss Texas? Absolutely. What you gonna spit from Miss Texas? It's the greatest local cat to be global, the blind mogul. Built the cannabis empire straight off my Boost Mobile. Got my starter kit from this shit from spitting vocals. Went to pushing green while others seem to be pushing cocoa. Not me, though. Got the bag off making edibles. Made them taste great plus potent. That made them credible. Put the shit in shops all over that made them sellable. Then took the shit state to state. Fuck, that's federal. Caught a case, month eighth, second day. Conspiracy did traffic major way to bought the state. That was my charge, 500 large, including bail. Attorney fees, travel court fees, what the hell? Year later, we when legal felt like they robbed me. But I raced to win like I'm the blind Ricky Bobby. Feeling victorious at my spot, getting toppy. Plus it's sloppy. I guess that's how the fuck she got me. And deviants prevent what I intent, but they can't stop me. Cause my mind focus, heart focus, dick on Rocky. Yeah, Rocky, <laughs> like the mountains in Colorado. She's swearing it's a drought, but I fixed that when she swallowed. Hey, you heard it. Okay, okay. I see, I see what you're working with. Okay, supervision. You mm. ain't saw none yet, mommy. I'm mm. gonna tell you. I mean, boy, I was waiting for like Miss Texas, but you know, yeah, it's cool. Texas. I wanted something, you flexes. know, about me. You know, I wanted, you know, you know that, you know. Or I off can the work top on right that. Now. Can I, can I, can I shout you out in my next song? Because, like I, I said, it's it. an honor to be, you know, in this interview with you. I, I, you know, I've. I've been down and associated with some Hall of Famers before, the best in the business and the best in, in, in whatever industry you in. And I know you're the best in your industry. I appreciate and you're it. You're such a a M A V N Hall of Famer. And I wanted Ooh. to just, you know what I mean, give you a big shout out and, and say congratulations, you know what I mean, on your, on your uh, new Hall of Fame status. And I, I'll be honest with you, I'm focused on being the best in uh, every industry that I embark on um whether it's the cannabis industry the rap industry uh and now you know the film industry i got a new film uh my documentary is supervision passion of a hustler and it'll be out uh first quarter of uh, the new year of 2023 so check out that and uh yeah that's what, what i'm on i'm just on, on trying to be the best at everything i do love that's all you can really do you know what i mean it's one of those things that as long as you have passion you have yes, ambition you have yes. all the creativity and you just keep the drive and you know you keep on making it work and you keep on making it successful for sure for that sure. is what you do so we are going to play now one of my favorite games truth with texas i'm down we warmed you up enough to now know the naughty side, which I feel like you're a naughty man just from off the top. I, think I mean, I'm a naughty you know, man. I do. Just to you know your you know your language, how you talk about pussy being ruling the world, which are all facts. Yeah, they're I, all absolutely. great. I'm just in tune with I'm just in tune with 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 the opposite anatomy. I mean, you know, people 
have so many so many problems nowadays with with you know who's who and what's what and this that and the other and I'm just you know I'm just keeping glad. it real yeah I'm just keeping glad. it real and I love that about you but we're gonna actually take a little bit of a break and then we're gonna get to my favorite game Truth with Texas so I'm gonna give you a little 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 break straight up a little break all right. I'm always, you know what I mean? I, I got my mind on the prize and, and like. What is the prize to you? The prize to me is is her, her coming, I mean, waterfalls. Okay. You know, I mean, that's the ultimate prize. Have you and made then. A girl squirt? All over. Like, okay. bed wet. Like, you know what I mean? Like, river what's shit. Your, what's your technique? Is it with your dick or your hands? Or your mouth? No, I, I, I'm, no I'm a dick guy. I'm, okay. Like you said, I'm a coxman. I, you know what Coxman. I mean? I, yeah, you know what I mean? I figure if I, you know, if, uh, if so I can get it done. So you being a coxman, you don't remember the first insertion of your cock being in a pussy and what that felt like? No, I didn't, I didn't say because I didn't remember. I said, I said it, was it, was blur. Blur. it was a blur. It was a blur. But meaning blur in like an ecstasy type of situation? Because like you paint a picture of certain things, which I love is because, you know, there are other heights that are like, or sites that are in heightened more. And yeah. so it's more glorified because you're saying like it's, you know, you're really in a sense focusing on what you're doing, right. which is fucking. Right. But here's the thing. What did the first time your dick went into a pussy feel the, like? The, Stop telling him it's Texas it felt, it, it, it felt good, but I was like 11, maybe <laughs> 11 or was I 12? I, yeah. I, I might have been 12. I know I was 11 because right after that, <laughs> we went on, my family went on Family Feud and, and, uh, the fucking a uh, host of Family Feud asked me. He asked me, "What's uh, warm and good?" And I said, "Sex." And I was twelve on Family Feud, and that was like right after I. Can we first, go? What episode can we watch? This? Yeah, yeah, that was like Where that shit was we, back in like <laughs> it's real deal. Ray Combs was the host of Family Feud, and uh, and yeah, and, I need and, to watch this episode. Did they edit real. this out? It was the Bordenay family, nah, the real <laughs> shit. They didn't edit it out or nothing. And I was 12, and, and that was the first thing that came to mind because, you know, the shit is, like, real time, and it's like, answer right now, right now, right now. And I just got, got out of some pussy, like, so two days pussy before that. So what like to you? Like they, like they said, warm and good. I want the truth. I, I just said, warm and, warm and good. Warm and good. I mean, Every time. it could now be hotter. It could be hotter. <laughs> it it could be hotter. I mean, the, you know, the hotter, the, you know what I mean? It just depends. And then it just depends on the person. <laughs> you know, people don't want me to talk about this, but I, I say, like, like you got to have a mental. It say it again, I want Mom. you to talk about it all. Huh? I want you to talk about it all. Oh, I'm going to speak. <laughs> I'm going to speak on it. Look, you know, uh, you got to have a, I think when you can't see, you got to have, like, a super kinetic, you know, connection with somebody it's got to be like a vibe because like i never you know what i mean i never was wasn't like the one night stand guy i gotta get to know a chick i gotta like you know what i so mean how do you get to know a chick how do i get to know a chick yes do you, are you on dating are you on dating sites are you nah, just nah. like by people that i you got a know? girlfriend so no nah. i mean prior to or even how you met your girlfriend it, you know it's like but how do you like get to that point where you know obviously you can talk well you handle yourself you know very well you're all these things but like how do you connect the dots well i stick close to the money and then you know the money you know the money and the 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 the, the, the grind and stuff like that it's it's easy to run into um <clears throat> it's easy to run into I, I i don't i don't like bum bitches you know excuse me or or okay, or, well, or low level this. women how did you i like meet women your that girlfriend how did you meet your girlfriend uh, well, uh, my my girlfriend, I met her. I met her in in the cannabis industry, okay, and stuff like that. So I like girls that 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 get money. Yeah, they get money. You know, you know, bitches. That's about their bag. And ladies. when I say yeah, ladies, and when I say that, I mean like to the to the highest level. You know what I mean? Like like top quality chicks. You know what I mean? No disrespect to any any woman, but I, I like I like women that's about they, they, they you know what I mean? About their bag and and uh got some you know what I mean some so some ideas some entrepreneur ambitious. yeah and and even if you have some good ideas that you can bring to the table that I can embellish on then then I like that entrepreneur so entrepreneurial it's like you add spirit some value to right 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 yes. and then when when you when you get that when you get that that makes like the sex greater if you got something else in common with a, a female right 
or on your on your you know what I mean f from your point of view a male if you got some some other shit in common than just like the 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 physical sex. attraction and sex and shit then it makes that even better like you know what I mean because it's like you could get but money relationships are transactional yeah they are if people want to regret or believe it or not but it's it's a business deal it, it, it truly is and and I'm a businessman so I'm pretty successful in any any you know business relationship um you know uh intimately or not if you don't add value to the table then you gotta get out yeah if you ain't bringing nothing to the table then why the fuck you at the table you know you're not allowed you you you, you can't be i mean you know what i mean either you know what i mean either you with me or against me you know what i mean and either you know what i mean either you popping or 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 you're not or you stopping you know what I mean? And we can't stop the bag. We can't we can't stop, won't stop. Definitely we, won't stop the real, bag. For real, for real. All right, are you ready for Truth With Texas? I'm ready. All right, Truth With Texas, we're going to go through four different categories. I'm going to go down each and every one and give you some questions, get to know you a little bit more intimately. Absolutely. So the first one is naughty, which is spades. Handcuffs or blindfold? I always come blindfolded. But what do you want to do to your partner? Oh yeah, I want to blindfold her too. I think maybe it's the she, connection that she yeah, the same I need thing. that. I need that. Have you ever tried that? Nah, but uh, it's I'll like try it later on the night. With all the same senses. I'm, I'm, you know what? Later on the night, that shit getting tried. You should. I think that it's great. It's like you know, it sounds funny. Again, thanks for the context, idea. Thanks for the. Thanks for the. This you know is what I mean? Texas is here for you. You know? have a blindfold anywhere around here? Something I could use? I don't, but I know that you can have one of your shirts or something that you can make it work, make okay. it make sense. But you know, I know something around your house is something. Yeah, I, 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 I stop. <laughs> so I I'll stop at the beauty supply. I get wish a, I had like a, you know, or a, a bin of like. Yeah, yeah, you should make but I don't blindfold people most times I you know very even weird about people even handcuffing me I don't like losing control. I can't fuck with the handcuffing I, I don't want to be handcuffed and I don't want to handcuff nobody that's that's kind of that's kind of like uh like like kind of but like it's creepy. more the resistance of like if you have that person's hands behind their back and we're going and we're setting the scene and you're using your mouth and navigating on their bodies and the hands are just so they can't stop you. It's more sensual, it's more in heightened. You can like do whatever you wanna do on this playground of this body of art and love that you want. I'm sorry, baby, you know what I mean? I think it's some genetic baby. shit. It gotta be some genetic shit. Maybe it's, you know, from my past, you know, past, ancestors or something slavery or something I, I can't get cut like I've been in jail too many motherfucking times but it's times. not to you it's to your partner yeah and I, 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 I stay away from the handcuffs okay. I mean I just stick this wood you're in her mouth and you're just a sexual beast I, I'm a sexual beast you don't need beast. anything else you don't need handcuffs but we're nah. gonna try the blindfold tonight the blindfold I'm girlfriend. trying that I'm yeah I'm uh, okay and, and I appreciate it's just that because you could just like talk to her in the same setting what if she like, says you know? no well, then she is, says is, no but at is least that's you, is that fair I mean, that's a discussion for y'all to talk about. But okay. I think that it leaves you bring it to the table and maybe like, you know, offer it as like, you know, a sexual inviting thing where you want to like be in a safe space and be like, like, because I think it's it's more about if you take you're the right. sight away right. with yourself, obviously, like you Absolutely. said earlier, it's more about what you're focused on. Equals right? the playing field. But and, that's and, what I'm saying. So yeah. with your partner, I feel like it would be a great experiment because then you're on an even playing field. Thank you, Miss Alexis. That's that's you learn a, something that, every day that, here I, at Dr. I, Texas. I have no And PhD, I never thought of no shit like but that. But I love that I can educate people because I think it's just all about awareness. It's right, about, right. You know, knowing what you can, you know. And again, if you're with someone and you're in a partnership, then you obviously have a trust already that she should be able to say yes right if you ask her to do that exactly no nah, 100 I'm, I'm do you like dirty talk dirty talk uh yeah i mean it's, You're okay it's with cool it? but I, I really like you know what i mean we're gonna talk for we're gonna talk dirty for about two minutes and then we're gonna fuck for the hour is that because your dick's gonna be in her mouth the whole time and you're just dominate this? Yeah. Like, you don't, like, cause again, it's sexual banter. Is My brother Lays would be mad <laughs> with me by saying this, but I would just say in that moment, I would say, here, talk to this dick. <laughs> what do they say to the dick? Uh, whatever they want to say. I, I'd dick. rather them start, I, I'd rather them, you know, <laughs> speak <laughs> French <laughs> and use their tongue and, and you know what I mean? And, you know, what get What French word do you like the best when they're on your dick? You know what I mean? Like something that wraps the dick. You know what I mean? And I'm just saying, because I'm so French. So that wraps the dick? 
when you, you say those words, your tongue articulates uh, around the dick? I mean, I'll, I'll I'm next usually time, not speaking anything. Usually, yeah, yeah, usually that mouth is so full up. I mean, if you, if you really... If you really, you know, man, a man within, a, a, you know, a man in doubt, you know, what I mean, she, she can't say nothing, but oh, you know, and a couple other little, you know, what I mean, foreign sounds. Other than that, you know, what I mean, you filling that whole throat cavity up. What I mean, is that's your my intention. Biggest turn off. Biggest turn off. Yeah. Biggest turn off. What's the biggest turn off? Oh, wow, that's crazy. You know, uh, you've been in the game. You know, you've been around everything. Yeah. What's your biggest turn off? I think granny panties. Granny panties would be, and I could feel them through. You know, I got a hell of a touch. I could feel them through, <laughs> through, through like the, through Why like her tights or sw- so or sweats or lazy. even her jeans. And I'm like, uh, she's either on her period or 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 she just she just she just a corny bitch. Oh, excuse me. She just she just like. It's okay. You yeah, I mean, she's having a problem. I mean, I mean, she's you know, having a problem. You know, I mean. You know, or she's not in step. Is the period a problem? No, I mean, that's a natural, you know, every, you know, that's a natural way of life. Every <laughs> month that got to, but, you know, she she's having an issue, you know what I mean? It's that, you know what I mean? You could, you could feel like them the granny Drake panties. like the 21 Savage is like, why did you come over here sitting on the <laughs> Yeah, I mean, you know, you kind of kind of fall back if it's that time of the month, you know what I mean? I don't know why females do that. They want to come to the fly scene. But you know what, though? Girls, honestly, are more horny when they're on the period. It's just a given fact. Okay. Yeah. Well, <laughs> so moving on, I'm really into, like... I like, want to talk about it. Why we got to move on from it? Does I, that make you uncomfortable? Uh, I want to sit yeah. in that for a minute. Not oh, literally. Hey. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I mean, if okay, you, let me ask I'll you a sit real over question. here. Let me ask you a real question. Yes, ma'am. So I just heard about this, like, obviously, maybe like a year ago. I was talking to some of my male friends, okay. and we were having this conversation. Right. And they said that they like, th- like men f- faking an orgasm is a thing. Have you ever faked an orgasm? No, nah, that's impossible for me to do. I, either I'm... But even I'm if you're in or, the pussy, you could fake that you came and they wouldn't know, like, inside. Nah, I, I actually, I, I want if you're you to come, but I, I actually enjoy coming, so I ain't faking shit. I'm going to fuck <laughs> until I come. Yeah, I got to get mine. It's like, that's the, that's the sport of the shit. But you've never been too drunk or fucked up that you couldn't? Because that's usually the excuse of why they do is not because they don't want to. It's because they're, they're too drunk or in that moment they're like they don't want to hurt her feelings so they're just like but i can't go anymore so it's like a give or take nah i'm i'm i'm, I'm going for gusto <laughs> you're no. always so you should have been a porn star in your other job that's what we said earlier you the never craziest job thing you when i said a dj you said a dj it should have been a porn star uh, mixing and scratching that <laughs> ass you know what i mean i mean um, i can be interpreted in a lot of different ways <laughs> I, the funniest shit is uh i i actually I, you know I don't know, in the back of my mind, you know, and then being on the porn scenes, I really respected like the art, right? And um, and then, um, you know, I used to kind of be in awe and I I, I met this, uh, this director, he taught me how to be cool around pussy. His name was Ron Hightower, he's a legend, you know? And Ron yeah. taught me, you know what I mean? Oh, nah, man, you know. How long ago is this? I don't even know this name. Oh man, these are legends. These are legends in the porn game, Ron Hightower. The problem is, is I never watched porn before I got into porn. Right. So I didn't know But you that. had to make your own name in your own lane, so. Yeah, so it's like I'm not taking away from it, I just right. never heard that name. No, no, look these names up, Byron Long. Long, Julian St. Jock. Byron Long, I've heard. Yeah. I've never heard the last one you just said. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so Ron, Ron Hightower, he was a director of the porn game. He was like a big director. For who? Um, you know, I, I didn't... I, Evil I Angel, didn't, a- Elegant Angel, uh, Vivid, um, what was pr- that Probably, that? Probably all of them. You know, Ron all Hightower. Them, you can't be all of them. He was popping. He he was he he, he was, was the coxman of his time. He was popping and uh and he was really a good dude and he really taught me like you know what I mean. So what how was to his be, advice that he said how to how do you stay cool in front of the pussy? He said he said shut the fuck up, be chill as fuck, be cool as fuck, and and 
and you know what I mean? Don't ask for shit. It, it'll all come to you. You Let know what I mean? Let the pussy find you. Let the pussy find you. Like they, they're gonna choose you. Like, like you, you, you know what I mean? Just be cool. You know what I mean? And and don't be, don't be overly aggressive. Don't be, you I know what I mean? Where he is now, because I feel like I vibe with that advice. I feel like usually the loudest ones in the room are usually the they ones ain't get that no are pussy. not gonna get pussy. No, they're not getting they're no pussy. They're gonna talk themselves out of pussy. Yeah, because yeah, it's just too much of whatever. But if unless you're like, loud and funny, like. You know, but the extent of who thinks you're funny, you know? Right, that, that, that's true. Those have to land correctly, not because they just land for yourself. Right, you know, absolutely. Some people, when you're either drinking too much, you think you're maybe funnier than you are. But right, you're right. you're naturally funny and you can, like, hold a room, right. that's it's a good thing. I got a, I, you know, yeah, I got a natural uh, charisma of holding a room and stuff like that. I don't try to push, to, you know, push my line and stuff like that. Do you like have that. a go-to pickup line before your girlfriend? What was your go-to pickup line to a girl? Uh, my go-to pickup line? Mm-hmm. was high <laughs> that's it well that's what i'm usually I always said, am bye <laughs> you would have said uh, you would have said bye if you just said hi and you just sat there and said hi i would have said uh bye do you smoke when i'm smoking right now aren't i not oh, uh, uh, i bad. didn't notice i I, I, now I'm jealous. Well, well, I would but say. I don't smell it. I've been smoking. Well, can I add two words to that? I would say, let's get I'm high. An yes, let's get high. Uh, you know, uh, is that does that work? Is that a good pickup line? Uh, does it know, work? Uh, all the time. Okay. I mean, you know, I don't <laughs> usually smoke with with people but do unless they're. you always say like my weed's better because you know especially california everyone's like oh you got to try it my shit's fire or does it just speak for itself i let it speak for itself you know i'm 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 a, a real you know connoisseur with this shit so you know what i mean i won't give you nothing that i don't superly enjoy i actually uh bought what do you uh, like to smoke um i like to smoke i like to smoke og i like to smoke exotics uh gorilla glue cookies okay. uh uh, Sherberts. I'm a I'm a runt guy. I, I like and then I I like to mix shit up. You know I like to do a what I call a, a herbal speedball and that's like you know a ganga indica mixed with some sativa with a drop of wax and that has you like. Kinda, How do you make that blend? Cause like you, I'm the plug you, and I got the bags and well, I just I get creative. That part, sir. But I mean like. You're just breaking down all of those different kinds of weed and then putting that thing on top. Yeah, of I'll it. take like a jack. I'll take like a jack hair, which is a gray okay. sativa. I would love and, it. Yeah. yeah, exactly. And 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 I'll mix it with like a a triple X OG, something that's real, like thirty eight percent THC indica, okay. and like a like a triple X OG or or a holy grill or um, you know what I mean, or a real stouty like like black truffle or something like that and then um now you're doing exotics i like it Talk yeah yeah that. yeah and then i'll take like a black truffle and mix it with like a a jack hair and then i'll take uh some of my uh i make wax i make my own wax uh supervision wax i, I actually brought you some Ooh, i don't know if you presents. fuck around with the wax it yeah you rub like your little presents. joints down like and it. stuff like that and I, uh so i take uh some of my uh some of my wax and uh and drop that in there and uh and just make a nice you know what I mean a nice blow a torch. nice little blend yeah yeah and, like and, and yeah like it's it. real nice so like i said i bought you uh, uh a couple little gifts you know what i mean from my shop you know just a it. couple little products my this is uh my uh, one of my uh best sellers my bud head mm-hmm. sodas nice you know what i mean you can Soda try that out that's that Irish sour apple i thought uh It'd be a great flavor for you. Sour apple. Yeah, exactly, Ooh, exactly, I like it. exactly. And then I bought you like this is my own personal wax that I make. I wanted you to try that. You can lace your little joints and stuff like that with. My big, we don't do little over here, baby. You know what I mean? And then uh, and 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 Pussy. then uh, and yeah, and then uh, and then uh, I figured you a girl from Texas and you like to do your little, you know what I mean? Your seasoning your foods i bought you a little a little my bud head lemon pepper seasoning wow you know what i mean that's so new. you can yeah like oh yeah yeah so you know what i mean season all your all your nice. meats your poultry your 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 vegetables and all that stuff and it gets you a nice a nice euphoric buzz you know what i mean to go with your herb that you're smoking and stuff like that so you. you know what i mean we we, we uh we make 
uh, like 42 line item products at Bud Head Edibles and Drinkables, but I just wanted to bring you a couple products, just something I think you you would uh, you would enjoy. I appreciate that. I love yeah, that. Absolutely. So at Bud Head, like what other like new product products do you have coming out? Um, well, we got is uh, the seasoning a new thing, or is it something that's been around a lot? The, the I've never seen that, and that's awesome. I love that. The seasoning has been around for uh, for some time. My mom developed the seasoning. She's the uh, chief chef and uh, um, and uh, manufacturer of of Bud Head, uh, and, oh, and it's been for the last fifteen years. So she developed the seasoning. And uh, it was just good because motherfuckers like lemon pepper hot wings and stuff like that. So why when I'm she excited. developed that, like yeah, I started. That's the one reason why I couldn't give up chicken. I like, you know, I like hey, wings. Hey, you use yeah. that. You're going to put you going to put you and your friends under the fucking table. Like Season it. that shit up with that. Oh, man. Game I don't changer. know the molecules. I guess the heat from the frying the chicken. It, it opens the uh, molecules in the THC and turns that fucked shit up. Ah, up. Up. Uh, you'd be fucked up. I'm excited. I'm gonna tell you all about it. Absolutely, do all that. All right. So our other question is romantic question. Would you consider yourself a romantic? Uh, sometimes I am. Sometimes I. Sometimes I, I. And I. And I actually really love being a romantic. But I think life it sometimes gets stressful when you steady chasing that bag, and. Uh, you know what I mean? I'm a, you know what I mean? I could say that, you know, not only myself, but other men, we, we sometimes we forget to, to, to implore, you know, employ romance and. You gotta keep dating. Yeah, yeah, you gotta like keep dating. I feel like it's always a thing. I think relationships, regardless if it's a friendship, it's a romantic ship or anything kind of ship wise, it's a 50-50. You gotta keep 100. doing the same things of how you got that. Yes. To keep it continuing to be something and flourishing and be, you know, continuously great. And my girlfriend, she tells me that, like, like, look, motherfucker, if it's just like going to a movie, like, I know you get into the bag, but take a time out to, the, 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 you know, go catch a movie or go eat. So she, she keeps me on that type of shit. Like she, she, you know, what I mean, she'll help, you know, what I mean, she'll, she'll pull up and, and tell me to get up, get the so fuck up a, out the trap. A so. perfect date night for you. Perfect date night. Um. A, a fly dinner, uh, movie, um, really good movie. I don't like corny shit, but you know, really good movie, What's your fly dinner. Movie? Uh, my my last latest greatest inspirational movie was Elvis. That okay. shit was cool. Like you know, what I mean, that was a good one. yeah, it's the show money and snow money, you know. Um, but uh. No, nah, Elvis was 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 fly. I think that was the uh, most recent shit that I that I went to, to the movie theater on. Other than that, I've been like fire stick, you know, fire stick shit, just chilling. You know what I mean? Either I'm at the at the at the you know at the business because uh, I got a, a 24 hour private dispensary uh, on uh, Normandy and 66 called Green Dream Collective and CBD. And uh, Green Dream. yeah, you could come check us out. Sixty six oh eight South Normandy. We got that gas. I'm gonna and go all roll the, up in there and be like, "Look, Ms. you're Texas, a legend." This Texas says, you, let "You're me a legend. In. Let you gotta, me you gotta come in. in. You gotta come in and in, 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 in grace and grace the presence with your spot. It'll For be sure. a pleasure. You know what I mean? I I'm most definitely, uh, most definitely starting to uh, collect uh, celebrities. Uh, uh, signatures and stuff, and making a a, a wall of fame. I would love to come through, show some love. And I want to get you high. Hey, I like being high. Eve. High is all the things I love to do. So, what are some deal breakers for you in a relationship? Uh, some deal breakers. Um, I will. I would have to say. I would have to say. Probably not allowing me to be the creative spirit that God intended me to be, you know? So you having know, like a problem with like your schedule? Blocking like my shine, your, blocking okay. my grind, you know what I mean? Uh, you know, just, just you know, getting in the way of, 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 you know, the path that God set for me, you know? And I think yeah, I think that would probably be the deal breaker, the number one deal breaker. And then, you know, being being down or not being 
down with my 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 lifestyle. Somebody asked me the other day. They said, "Are are you know, are you gonna fuck with weed forever? I mean, your whole life." And I I had to tell them like. I've been fucking with weed my whole life, and I don't see myself not fucking with it. I actually, it's one of my my greatest passions: marijuana, hip hop, you know, my children, you know, and and my family. But other than that, it's like, yeah, of course I'm gonna fuck with weed. I, I I've come so far with it, you know. Like you said, we we used to be like sneaking behind. You know what I mean? Yeah, Buildings and shit. That, yeah. yeah, and now it's legal and shit. Why would I and walk you know away the from hustle. the game? Yeah, exactly. And and it's part of my hustle. And you know, I, I man, it's same. It, it did so much for me being able to give me the opportunity to actually really get to get to the bag. After I after I made my first fortune uh, in hip hop, and I, I kind of stepped away from hip hop and kind of you know. Um, started diversifying into other different businesses and I went back to school and got my, uh, my, my business degree and stuff like that. Um, I just, I just saw so much of an upside. I saw the future almost like, nah, I got to stick with it. So where I'm at now is like, yeah, I, I'm, I'm fucking with the weed. That's kind of, uh, you know, it's not kinda, going nowhere. Yeah, that's kind of the. I want to grow with it. I want. I, I want to. I want my grandkids to be like. You know, my grandfather. You know, is like Joe Kennedy. Yeah, you know what I mean. With uh, how Joe Kennedy was with alcohol, and people wonder how did the Kennedys get so rich? Man, they've been selling. They've been pumping Seagram's gin f your whole life, your mama's whole life, her mama's whole life. You know, it's a generational thing, and I. I thought that cannabis. And I know for sure that cannabis is going to do the same thing. That's amazing. Yeah. All right. The spicy questions are next. Let's are go with ready? spice. All right. What is your worst hookup story? My worst hookup story is, is man, somebody hooked me up with a blind chick. <laughs> That was, it was fucked up. I mean, I, you know what I mean? Y'all couldn't see her. She couldn't see me. You know what I mean? All. Yeah, it was, it was fucked up. I, we, we couldn't, we couldn't go nowhere. Uber wasn't established. And, and then, you better you know, stop playing Miss Texas. And, and that's then, all I know is you better stop playing Miss Texas. And then she couldn't give me no, you know, dick compliments until she had it in her hand. It was a problem. Are you ready to tell me the truth now? Or are you, are you finished with your story? <laughs> that was the thing. I, 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 I never really dated a blind chick until that one time, and that was the one day, one time we we met. And do you like sex toys in the bedroom? No, nah, not at all. Have you ever had you know any kind of thing, cock ring, vibrator on a chick? Uh, the cock ring, yeah, but that shit. That shit Did like, you like it? Uh, would you nah, repeat, she more would you like repeat it. Offend? You know what? You when you use the cock ring after you nut and you like, you just like kind of laying in the pussy and then that cock ring shit works. But like if you really fucking, if you're really motherfucker, if you're a real motherfucker, you you don't need no cock ring. That shit gets all in the way. So what's the longest you've gone without sex then? Longest? Yeah, longest. I mean, you know, I, I could go into monk mode, you know what I mean? And, and just where I'm just on some focus shit. Okay, but you know what I mean? Know, I mean, balls will be factual, heavy, but. But factual numbers. Yeah, uh, like, like, like two months, maybe three months. And, and I've come with nothing but facts in my bag. Um, Miss Lady, I, I don't, I don't, I, I don't lie on my dick or lie on my. I don't think you lie in your yeah, dick, yeah. but you make it sound more. You embellish because humor is makes it more. It makes it more appealing than others. But nah, I, feel I think like sometimes, I just. But in cleansing moments, it's like if you go through things like not being sexually, it doesn't mean that you're not you know who you are and I can get pussy or anything like that. But right, it's like no, you you, you go, go through the moments. levels of like whatever. So it's like you know, it's just an honest thing of. How long? Has there ever been a spurt of time where you really like maybe cleansed or just didn't have a relationship or situationship or anything? Nah, that's fucked up because I've been in in relationships my whole life. For some some for some reason, I've always been a like a super uh, likable guy okay. when it pertains to like a, a, a female wanting to be with me. So you've always a had long, like a companionship. Yeah, I always had a companionship. I never was like 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 without spouse or pussy list, so to speak. Okay. So, like, yeah, I never. And then. How when, long have you been with your current girlfriend? Uh, it's three years. Three years? Okay. Yeah, yeah three, three plus. Okay. A little over three years. 
you know what I mean? And uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, that's the thing. It's like, I've never really been, and then even when I was, I was like single for a moment or whatever that was in life. Um, <laughs> whatever that was in life. Yeah, whenever that was in life, cause you know, I, I've had long relationships and shit. So um, whenever that was in life, you know, like I said, I'm a pot of honey. And so are you afraid to be alone? Why do you think that you're always in a relationship and you've never just been by yourself? Because I think I'm contagiously resist ir irresistible. I think, you know, yeah, I... Yeah, but you could be irresistible, but sometimes we have to say no to things that sometimes could be good or bad or yeah, different. I, I, but to focus on, like, ourselves, and maybe you have... I think I'm out. a loyalist. I, okay. I, I'm down with who's down with me, and, and I kind of ride with who rides with me. And, 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 and um, I love women who are uh, pretty inside and out, and I kind of gravitate to, once, once a, a female like shows me like some, 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 you know, some in, internal and external beauty all at the same time, I kind of, and, and she shows me like she's down with me, yeah. my condition, she's not holding that against me, but she, she's motivating me and, and like, you know what sure. I mean? Yeah. And, and, and standing with, with, yeah, she's yeah. with me, then that's kind of, yeah, that's kind of the thing. Yeah. That, that's kind of, that's kind of okay. the thing that grabs me. Yeah. I feel like it's not always as easy as like again like with myself. I've been single for over three years. I've been in the you know business. Right. And I was married in the business, and then there's a choice of like going through things. But that's why I say like it's not always sometimes being by yourself. You get to identify and figure out your true self. But if you're also with a partner who allows you to do that too, it's a safe space that you can do it together and grow together. Right. Nah. Um. Yeah. One time in my life where I was single and I wasn't really fucking with anybody, I was on some like spiritual shit, you mm -hmm. know? And just really like getting the- Tap into what you needed. Yeah, really getting to like know me. And, and that was, you know, and then when, you know, when a motherfucker go to jail, you ain't, you know, get no pussy and you kind of go into like, you know, to, to, to keep all the, the, the noise out your all the negativity and shit you kind of go into like monk mode yeah so you know that's that you know that's that's when those times happen when you say like okay when are you going without sex whenever i'm i'm in 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 that space where where i'm either in solitude okay. uh on purpose or imprisonment okay mm -hmm. have you ever stayed in a relationship because of sex Nah, but probably if <laughs> probably if it was any relationship like that, it'd probably be my most current relationship where it was like, I can't let you go. Like it's too fire. It's too good. Yeah, I'm gonna that, be selfish right now until I know what I'm gonna do with you. Even though you might be a <laughs> fucking problem sometime, it, it's 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 too. You fire. like a problem sometimes, you know. We'll work around the problem. We'll work through it. I love it. It's All straight right. up. Last set of questions is club, which is a kinky questions. Shower sex or car sex? Do you have a preference? I like shower sex, and um, I, I, I'll I'll give you a a real fact. Give me a fact. I, I want it. I've only I've only had car sex one time in my whole life, and it's been in the last couple years. Okay. And and uh, within this last three years since you yes, been it's been in the last you're, three years. Your smile is really I, getting bigger I, and bigger. I, yeah, because I, I experienced it. You know, I I, I experienced it That's with my great. girlfriend. That means you're happy. I love that. Nah, but it was. I mean, the sex was great, but th like the car shit, you know, that shit was garbage. All my all my all my sighted friends and shit. All my friends who can see, they always told me about car sex. Like, ah, uh, yeah, I pulled over and we. You know what I mean? I fucked the shit out of her in the car. And when I did it, it wasn't all that cool. Like, I, you know, I'm, I'm used to hotel beds, king size hotel beds. So I was like, this is corny. It's not enough space and elbows. I couldn't There's really. restrictions all over the place. Oh, I, I couldn't. Hate. I couldn't. It I'm was gonna terrible. I'm going to put this in like neutral I, I, and it's going to be fucked up for everybody. And I'm like, is this what motherfuckers who can see do? This shit is corny. Let's pull. Let's go to the Marriott. 
you know, so yeah, I, shower sex for sure. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. Do you have any fetishes? Fetishes. Yeah. What you um, like? What you like over there? <laughs> Don't hold back, you know. Come on, I know it's in there. I can, I can see. It. No, cause when I say shit, you say okay. So now tell me the truth. So when I say shit, it's like no, it, but I, I mean, because no, I feel like you're real. hesitating to tell me like what I want to hear, but well, I want to know your. Well, no, nah, I'm hesitating to say the, uh, not even hesitating. I just want to give you the, you know, I've lived a. Uh, uh, I've lived a quite an adventurous me life. What she wants. So you yeah, I want, and I want to tell Miss Texas. I love that. I want to tell Miss Texas. You. you know what I mean? My <laughs> truth. And and and, and I know, you know sometimes I mean? on the spot it's like oh damn, but you're like let me think harder, let me dig deeper. So I appreciate. that. Well, look, I'm you know what I mean. Give it I'm to 45. Me. You know what I mean? Give I, me what I, I want. You know what I mean? You're talking me, like 30 years of, of, of experience. Shit. Yeah, that's what's great about getting like letting your fans, people knowing a little bit more about Absolutely. you. Because I'm Absolutely. asking the hard questions. You're asking the hard questions. I'm asking you the questions on that no one's going to ask you. You feel a little bit more, you know, intimate with me. Cause I'm you intimidated, heard my, really. You heard my voice. You know, I do dirty things. You know, I'm, I, you know my street cred is With great. these questions? You're welcome. I'm a little, I'm a little intimidated. I'm like, whoa, she... You know, I'm really about my business. Yeah, these this, these this questions. Isn't just like, hey, let me just twerk on everybody. Nah, I'm this I'm about this. I'm a podcast queen. Yeah, I mean, I'm, these I'm questions. I'm gonna run this shit up. This is season four. I'm gonna do this thing, and we're gonna rock with it because that's what we do. Miss Alexis, you these better give these me what questions. I want. You better give me what I want. I'm a, I, I, yes, ma'am. But these questions <laughs> wasn't on the fucking pre-question list. I, you, 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 we you don't have I mean? pre-question lists. You want to rock with me? You want to rock with me? I'm We're, rocking. We all rocking. Look, we having a fun time. I, so, I love getting to know you. I think this is great. It's cool. It's really, you know? it's really fucking cool. Great. I feel like your smile has been on point the whole time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're having fun. You know, I, this I, is the, you know, we're getting a little bit more out of you. Getting so, fun. so look, I want to know from you, do you like car sex or shower sex? It's, it's you know, I think that question, I, I want to know the answer from you just as much as you wanted to know it from me. I'm curious. Uh, I would probably say car sex. Now, what Not kinda... because it's a spacious situation, but it's a spontaneous situation. Spontaneous. And for me, the shower, like it's hot too in a moment, but only if it's like a shower that I have, like it's like a whole party room shower. Right, and it's right. It's like a lot of room and you can right, like A lot of space in the shower. Thing. Right. But most showers aren't like that. So it's like, you know, and then the water, the friction, and all kinds of things can be crazy. I mean, space not being not that big. Right. So car sex, you know what you're getting. You can like recline down, do what you got to do. I think I haven't had a lot you of car I mean? sex because I, I, so I couldn't drive or something. I've definitely done a lot of handies while driving and had a pull oh, yeah. over on the That's side of the drive, like on the side and then like continue what's going on. And then you yeah, go home on our merry little way. You know? So let me ask you, you know, this. Can you do a times. handy driving? Like if you were the driver, can you take your other hand? And I mean, I could, it wouldn't really be great. It would be like, eh, you kind of dangerous. I, Cause I would have to be focusing on us dying and I'm not trying to like do anything for right. my life. I love my life. I'm not trying to, I feel like, I feel like you can wait. 10 to 20 minutes and hey, not a, you know what the door is that way sorry i got you sorry. <laughs> but 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 you you good with the, the handies when, when he's driving all of it oh, you know you know yeah, you get a little yeah. tease you gotta see if you're focused or not all right last set question for the kinky one what is the most number of times of that you've had sex in one day say it again what's the most number of times you've had sex in one day uh probably like four four yeah okay but it's got to be, like I said, you got to be that, it got to be that vibe. If it's not that vibe, it's like, it's like, you know, like once or twice and just like, I get up with you. Over. But but if it's that vibe and, and y'all, you know what I mean, she's You're chilling with you. Yeah, y'all cooking, y'all chilling, watching, you know, Netflix and chilling and all that old type of shit. You know what I mean? You know, you in the fucking Netflix and chilling. Stop it. You're touching on her booty. You're doing. You're just. You're being. You know, no, I actually like Netflix, and she's touching on me. And oh, so like, she. Oh, so she's the. I aggressor. like smoking weed and trying to chill. Yeah, but like, I feel like if you're like, with, I'm like but reach if you're over with your girl, I feel like you're like touching on her. If y'all are not that you don't like Netflix, but you know you're. You know, in that moment, you may. Don't yeah, want to I'm, do I'm, I'm. 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 I'm I'm, I'm reaching over, waxing that ass and, and, and shit like that. You're, but, you're multitasking. I yeah, I'm multitasking, but okay. she doing her thing. She like, you know, TikToking and shit like that. And I'm like rolling right. the blunt and I'm kind of just cooling. In and, the mix. And, yeah, and, and when, 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 you know, 
um, remember I said Ron Hightower, he told me, let it all come to you. So I never was, you know, I learned when you be trying to like get at it and be tacked touching her and being too touchy feely and shit like that shit kind of becomes re, you know redundant and kind of corny so i just wait i just lay back and wait till she you know what i mean wait till you know it's cool, time cool calm collective yes, that's ma'am. how you are yeah supervision. i mean it's the way to go i love it and it's actually Those supervision are... 448 okay supervision yeah. 448 i didn't know there was numbers after your shit but you know i'll respect all well, of it's you. for it's for 448 grams you know that bag mm. and that's what i'm about so uh okay. people just started you know all the uh, like i was selling so many bags at one time um when any t- when any time you know a client would call me they would always ask me uh, super v is the bag 448 <laughs> so that's how i just you know okay. put that on so the name. You, you earn that it's title that's yeah it's stuck yeah earn that love title it. i respect it around. is there anything you want to ask miss texas before we get off this podcast yes what would you want to ask Ms. are you a natural blonde Am I a natural blonde? I'm a natural dirty blonde, but you I'm know I keep dirty, my blonde blonder. Blonde so happening, you know? Right, 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 right. And uh, that's how we do. And and I, uh, I I would love to, you know what I mean? Love to have a picture with you and stuff like that, you know what I mean? One thousand and ten percent, you will you definitely know, get a picture I, I, with I, me. I, I want to be down with celebrities. You. I appreciate Hall of you coming here on Private Talk. I love getting to know you more. Thank you so much for oh, being thank a part you. It's all good. of the show. It's love. Private talk. Until next can, time. Can, can I just shout out my my new film coming, or did yes. I do that already? Yes, no, let's do it. All let's, right. What do you want to shout out? Well, I got I got my new single dropping today. It's called So Sexy for all the ladies and all the nasty girls and, so the, and the bad chicks, the bad bitches, whatever you want to call yourself, whatever you feeling uh, uh, yourself to be. I got the new song, So Sexy, produced by Mario Winans. And then um, I got the new film coming out uh, first quarter of uh, the new year. It's called Supervision, Passion of a Hustler. Check me out. It's going to be all on all the streaming platforms. So it's all love. I love it. Thank you, Supervision. Thank Private you. Talk, you heard him. Make sure you go and follow, support everything that he has going on. I can't wait. Until we watch this episode, I hope you love it just as much as I've done doing it. And until next time. This episode is sponsored by Bet Online.